the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. Respected viewers, brothers and sisters in Islam, peace and blessings of Allah be upon you all. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, Muhammad, say, I seek protection from the Lord of the Dawn against the evil of whatever he has created. I seek his protection against the evil of the invading darkness from the evil of those who practice witchcraft and from the evil of the envious ones. Surah 113, Ayahs 1 through 5. This verse clearly embodies the immense negative magnitude of envy. It stains the soul and prevents humans from excelling spiritually. It is a hideous vice that leaves the worst influence on morals. The envious, in fact, lives in incessant grief since he dissatisfies himself with acts of God. The Prophet, peace be upon him, has said, Envy consumes the good deeds in the same way as fire consumes wood. Hasad, or envy, is among the most destructive emotions or feeling which a man may have towards his fellow human being. It causes him to wish evil for the others and to be happy when misfortune befalls them. Amir al-Mu'mineen salam has said, I have never seen like the wrong envious who is most similar to the wrong. The envious lives in endless care with grieved heart and inherent sorrow. Envy is the most serious moral defect that inflicts the religion and the life of the individuals that they carry. The envious is greatly disturbed when they notice anyone to be happy or content with their life. Imam Ali alayhi salam has said, Envy doesn't bring anything other than harm and anger and weakens your heart and makes your body sick. He alayhi salam has also said, Envy weakens the body. The religious disadvantage of envy is that the envious uses all wrong and nasty means for trapping the envied so as to impute dishonor to him. This will certainly make him encounter the wrath and punishment of Allah. Hadrat Luqman السلام, said to his son, The envious person has three signs, backbiting behind them, flatters them in front, and is happy when they are in trouble. So what should a believer do when he or she observes a blessing that he or she lacks is possessed by another servant of Allah? He or she should desire that the blessing possessed by the other servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala should remain and as such increase and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestow him or her with the same blessing. He or she must not desire that the blessing be lost from the servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He or she must appreciate that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has bestowed the blessings to his servant by his own grace and that he or she should be happy with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Thank you for watching. Join in to the upcoming episodes. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.